what's going on YouTube my name is nuke aka the mother of all bombs and today what I got you guys is a sick just amazing ACR triple chem strike from my friend Romulus IV who does not have a YouTube channel but I used to play with him a lot on Call of Duty MW3 and he has a capture card um, he got it to record some of his gameplay and he decided he's gonna be sending it to some of his friends and I was one of the people who wanted to send it to so he's gonna I have a bunch of pretty cool gameplays coming from him and another one of my friends so just stay tuned for those sick gameplays <coughs> more solo gameplays and this is a solo triple moab playing on the map terminal using the ACR with silencer and he's using a Semtex, two concussion grenades, and specialist, and the triple MOAB is just pretty amazing. And he gets to call in one of the MOABs, which kind of sucks, but it's he's it's still a triple MOAB, guys, so make sure to leave a like if you enjoy. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome gameplays coming up soon. Tomorrow I'm going to have you guys a MP7 nuclear from my old account when I used to play Xbox. So just stay tuned for that. Just a bunch of more amazing gameplays from me and a bunch of my friends and some Advanced Warfare gameplay and some gameplay that's also just not any of my friends. Just I get it offline because I think other games are more entertaining at this point to watch other than Call of Duty Ghost. I'm not as... I mean... I just think right now watching these super high kill games is better than watching a background mo uh, chem strike or something on Call of Duty Ghost. Anyways, today we're actually going to be talking about a little about how Call of Duty Ghost ended and what I kind of think about Call of Duty Ghost. Once we're all done, we're going to be putting some music in the background at the end unless I commentate through this whole gameplay. Otherwise, I also joined Rise Pub Stomping as a commentator. There's no commentary up on there yet. I'm trying to contact Gauntlet to see when my comment, when I'm going to be doing a commentary. <coughs> I'm not sure yet because there's a recruitment challenge going on, so I don't know when I'm going to be doing the next commentary, but make sure you guys go subscribe to Rise Pub Stomping Clan. It'll mean a lot to them, me, and yeah. I'm almost at 300 subscribers. I think someone gave me a shout out because I have 170, 270 now. And the other night I had like 259. I personally think someone gave me a shout out. I did not get on Nero this week, so that's not why. I would probably have 300 something by now. Anyways, finally, let's get into the topic at hand. So, Call of Duty Ghost in general. I kind of love the game. The thing that really dented the game for me and didn't make it as enjoyable was the map size, how the game played. The game played very slow, and I think I've made a video about this, <coughs> about why Call of Duty Ghost failed, but I'm going to be talking about most of the good things about the game that I like, but that just really dented it. Um, putting in that low health, made the game very slow paced, and basically right now I, I just lobby search for free fall and strike zone, and play a couple of the other maps, most of the time I don't play any other maps but free fall and strike zone, or free, I play that too, so those are about the three maps that I play on Call of Duty Ghosts, because I don't really enjoy any of the other maps on Call of Duty Ghosts. Not nearly as much as Free Fall Strike Zone. <coughs> Sorry. And Freight. And hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy the new mic in the background. Um, I was bringing... I brought this mic back because I thought it sounded a li little bit better quality. And I thought the quality of the mic was more important. Not, you know... Like, my other... The mic I've been using, its quality is decent. It's just not as clear and doesn't ex show my voice properly so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this mic a lot more tell me in the comments below what you guys think about this mic 
and what you guys think about this gameplay. Now let's get back to it. Otherwise, putting in the chem strike was amazing in Call of Duty Ghost. If they didn't have that, I don't know what I would be doing. I wouldn't be going for assault. I guess I'd just be going for a hundred pluses with specialists, but I could do that now, but I mainly just go for those chem strikes and get like 60 pluses because I play with like four man party and I play with called Cod Go 619. So when me, him, my friend Matt and Knife are together, the kills are just like crazily split and we don't all get a high amount at least 50 but yeah so call the ghost putting in the chem strike was amazing just like in mw3 you could keep going for these different kind of chem strikes with different class setups with hard scopes to go for pistol chem strikes shotgun chem strikes anything you could just keep trying until you get a chem strike with every weapon a chem strike with every attachment on every weapon you can, it's endless, guys, the possibilities uh, to go for chem strikes with, and you can always push for another chem strike. Even if you have 600, you could keep going for as many as you want. Going, even if, yeah, like I said, even if you have 600, go for like a septic chem if you haven't already. Get a full team together. You can do anything in this game. Look at that. That was amazing. I would have never killed that guy, probably. But Romulus just looks like was running, and then the guy's right there, and he picks him off. But also, the guns in Call of Duty Ghosts were decent. The Honey Badger, just, I like games that have a slower kill time, just because I like seeing that gun fire. Like, this ACR, I love looking at the ACR shoot at something, because you still get that full effect of all the bullets going in. The MW3 guns were probably one of my favorites. They just had so many weapons in MW3. And Black Ops 2 had a lot of good weapons. Um, I liked most of them, and they were fun to play with. But I think MW3, I love the weapons the most. And Ghost just didn't do that for me. They There's the, M the Honey Badger and the M27 that I mainly use. I don't even like the MTAR that much. I mean, I use the K7 sometimes. The CBJ, and I think that's it. I don't really use a lot of the SMGs or the assault rifles. I mean, I use the AK-12 sometimes, but not nearly as much as like a Honey Badger or the M27 IAR in the Call of Duty game, so. They could have done a little bit more with the weapons. All the kill times are decent. I actually like the Bison as well. That is an amazing SMG. Even after that patch that they did for it, it hurt it. But I still personally love the gun. And I go on a lot of streaks with it. So, yeah. There's just some guns that I like in this game. There's just not as many. They're all pretty decent. But most of the time, the Honey Badger just overruns almost all the guns, so that's one bad thing about Call of Duty Ghosts. Otherwise, my thoughts on this game, the game was decent, but the explosives, let's say, they brought back Danger Close and they brought back the new tubes. That did not help a lot. I'm, you don't see as many people going for like cross map new tubes or anything, like in, sorry, like in MW2, but you definitely see some noob tubers out there and it gets annoying when people run the ID with danger close or something C4 and I just walk over like a double ID thankfully they did a good job not bringing back scavenger to where you can refuel your attack your lethals and tactical grenades in black ops 2 you can refill them you could just keep throwing your C4s and everything and that gets old after a while because like I used it but th if it was in this game it probably would have ruined it anyways guys in general I think Call of Duty Ghost was a maybe it was like a pretty good game but otherwise yeah that's that's all I have to say about Call of Duty Ghost hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay and it has been nuke hopefully you enjoy the music in the background I'm just gonna put in for the last 80 point 20 points of the game see you guys later you go